Citizen soldiers from all 50 states are answering the call to help their neighbors get through this crisis. The Pentagon says nearly 19,000 Army National Guard troops are now deployed all around the country. Senior investigative correspondent Catherine Herridge is at a training center in Maryland. That's, of course, just outside the nation's capital. Uh, Catherine, we're, we're used to seeing the National Guard deployed in a natural disaster, a tornado, a hurricane. This is kind of a national 50-state uh, disaster, but what kind of role are they playing? Well, that's right, Tony, and good morning. Maryland's governor tells CBS News that he's in constant contact with the head of his state's National Guard. They have regular morning briefings as they work together to navigate what's next. It's sort of like a terrible hurricane, that, but instead of hitting one state, it's hitting all 50 states, and it keeps coming every day, and it keeps intensifying and getting worse. Like so many governors across the nation, Maryland's Larry Hogan is watching the unfolding crisis in New York City and relying more than ever on his state's National Guard. We actually believe here in the Maryland, uh, D.C. and Virginia area, we're maybe about two weeks behind New York and we're going to be the next hot spot. We're doing everything we can. Major General Timothy Gowan leads the Maryland National Guard. We've got a lot of missions. Our number one mission is to help with the medical surge in, in any way that we can. In Maryland, Gowan's teams are fanning out across the state. In Baltimore, the guards set up cots for a field hospital at the convention center. A COVID-19 testing site at FedEx Field, home of the Washington Redskins. And they're moving pallets of face shields and surgical gloves to where they are needed most. How is the National Guard filling the gaps? I was one of the very first to call up the National Guard. We, call, we called up 2,200 members of our National Guard. Just every kind of place where we can help our hospitals, we can help provide the services and fill the gaps. Uh, they've been doing a tremendous job in stepping up. These are citizen soldiers who, who got called up to go serve, and every time we call on them, they're always, they always answer the call. This week, the Defense Secretary told CBS News the Guard may be asked to do even more. You know, I served in the Guard for many years. I know what they can do. They're very capable. I'm very proud of what our Guardsmen are doing. But we have a whole lot more capacity out there in the Guard right now to do more. Maryland's more than 6 million residents are now among the nearly 90 percent of Americans ordered to stay at home. Are you prepared to enforce the stay-at-home order? It's a mission that we're capable of and we're trained for it. Uh, we haven't been asked to do it yet. For now, the Maryland Guard is preparing for the expected surge in fatalities mid-April. And they're also delivering hope. The Guard can bring a sense of community at a time when people feel very isolated. They really do, you know, so it could be the opposite. You could see a bunch of folks in fatigues and, uh, you know, military vehicles, and it could be a scary thing and say, well, this, uh, but it's not. It's a relief. When they come in, people say, help is on the way. And these guys are coming in here and they're going to help keep us safe. General Gowan said it's a marathon, not a sprint, and he has plans in place to swap out units and people for the long haul.